Hey guys, welcome back to another book preview video. This week we have Anatomy for Artists, Drawing Form and Pose, The Ultimate Guide to Drawing Anatomy in Perspective and Pose with Tom Fox Draws. So a quick look at the front and back there. You can see how it's broken down into different sections there. And a very brief overview here just to give you a rough idea of what the book is about. So box mannequins, XYZ dimension, form and 3D detail and basically simplifying things. So I quite like the idea of this one. Let's get straight into it. So this is a 3D total publishing book, which means there is a tree planted for every book. Always nice to know. And first of all, let's just find the contents and let me leave this open on the contents for you, just in case you wanna pause the video and look through that. There are sort of subcategories within these sections, but it doesn't show that on the contents. So as usual, I'm just gonna ramble on whilst we take a look through this book. This has only just arrived. So this is by no means a review of the book, more just a preview and me thinking out loud whilst I look through it. So I just wanted to start by saying the reason I actually bought this book was because it talks a little bit about poses and anatomy in perspective. So that's something that I've always been curious about and something I've always struggled with. Yes, I can draw anatomy and I've got quite a lot of books about it, but actually placing a character into a scene or a 3D environment, I find that quite difficult knowing where to start, even though I've studied quite a lot of perspective. Um, I'm by no means great at it, but I have no experience at all putting characters into scenes like that. So that's what my sort of thinking was and reasoning behind buying this book. I do have an awful lot of anatomy books though, so I was a little bit hesitant because, well, I've already got so many and I've probably only read half of them, if that. So I was a little bit unsure by taking the plunge and I would say that this one does have a different approach and just through skimming through these pages on camera and admittedly I did have a quick look off screen just so that I had something to uh, talk about so that it wasn't completely random I do like that he gives a lot of examples not only showing how you should draw or get the anatomy correct but also how you shouldn't draw, so like common mistakes and things like that, which I always find is quite good to learn from. Although I'm not sure what this guy is doing to this poor chap here, but uh, it's not that kind of book. Yeah, it, it seems quite a nice book though. It's quite a large book. I think there's nearly 300 pages to it. Let me just check very quickly. Yeah, almost 300 pages to it. You quite often find that with anatomy books, it does make sense. The actual size of the book, I'm not sure if you can tell on camera, but it is bigger than A4, a little bit more squared off. So, decent sized book. You can see on some of the pages though, there isn't a ton of information. That for me is actually okay. I, I don't like it when there's too much on each page and it gets a little bit boring to look at and it's just not very motivating to read through it. So I quite like the way this one is laid out. That being said, I will admit, I'm not the biggest fan of the illustrations in the book. There's nothing wrong with them at all, and the artist clearly knows what he's doing. He's very talented, much better than anything I could draw by a mile. And the artwork actually reminds me a lot of the artist Kim Jong-ji. I think that's how you say it. Could be wrong. But in his sort of inking style, maybe that's just me. But again, whilst it's really good, it's not my personal preference. And I can understand why he's drawn in this sort of way because you know the book is absolutely full of illustration but again I still think there's a lot of value with it even if it's not my personal style or preference. Each to their own though and it's not a criticism. A few other things I did notice from flicking through it, it is very detailed like you can see here that it actually goes into things even such as teeth so it breaks down the skull but breaking down into teeth I think is quite a lot of information. It's not something I've seen in many books before. Um, so yeah, I think that's quite impressive. As we talked about at the beginning, a lot of this book is talking about planes and simplifying forms, which is something that we all need to do. Even if we know we should do it, we probably don't do it. I know I forget. I am quite excited to sort of read through this and learn from this take on things though. I always think that anatomy and posing is one of those things where there's a lot of books out there and whilst nearly all of them are good, especially the well-known ones, I personally, and know a few other people that are the same, find that some of them, while the information is good, I struggle to take it in. 
even though other people find that the best book. So I think this is going to be one of those things where it's really kind of personal preference and your learning style and just whether it appeals to you, maybe how easily you take in that information. So what I mean by that is maybe you've got an anatomy book already, like most of us do, uh, but maybe you're not really learning from it, you're finding it a little bit complicated, it's not sticking in your mind, it's just not working for you, then it might be worth trying a book like this. So the first section was a little bit about perspective and form, and then as we've gone throughout the book, it actually breaks the actual anatomy down. I am skipping quite a few pages at a time, because as we know, it is a large book. As far as the artist goes, I'm not particularly familiar with him. I know he's got quite a decent following online, and I did look at some of his artwork. I do think he, he clearly knows what he's talking about. It's quite a comprehensive book. But I will put links to his social media in the description box below for those that want to check him out. And I'll put a link in the description box as well to where I got the book from, because it's valued at £35 and it's pretty new, but I'm pretty sure I got it for close to 20 at the time. So I'll put links in the description box below. Aside from this book, I have actually bought the artist's course on Domestica, but I haven't gone through it yet. I swear I'm just addicted to buying books and courses, even though I never have time to go through them. So if you aren't a big fan of reading to take in information, maybe the video form would be better for you, I'm not sure. Whilst I first started going through this off camera, I thought it looked a little bit basic, even though that's the whole point of it. But as I've moved through the book, especially towards the end pages, it does break down anatomy and it does get quite, I won't say complicated, but quite advanced in a good way. So there really is a lot of information. Uh, I'm going to start skipping some larger chunks here. You can see that we've had the skeleton, you know, that included the skull and hands and things like that. Again, for me, the value is really in these sort of perspective drawings, learning to draw the pose and anatomy from different angles. So I am hoping that there is a lot of value to this book. I always think it's a bit tricky when there are a lot of books out there uh, already. So for this one, a lot of anatomy books. So definitely let me know what your opinion is on this from the preview, or maybe you've got the book. Aside from that, guys, I think we can leave it at that because I think I've previewed more than enough for those that are considering buying the book. And yeah, that's it. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that like button and, of course, switch notifications on. I do have a ton of other book previews now, so be sure to check those out. I'll put links below in the description box. And that's all. So thanks for watching, everyone.